back to the Back in Time channel. Today we're going to talk about Orlando Brown because Orlando Brown is facing a DV arrest and it could cost him a movie role. Let me get into the details of what TMZ is reporting. So according to TMZ, Orlando Brown is losing a movie role because of his domestic violence arrest, a role that alleged victim actually got him. And so TMZ broke the story that the former Disney star was arrested Thursday for the misdemeanor domestic violence after cops in Ohio responded to a call by the fight in progress between the two men. Now, the alleged victim told TMZ that he is directing and producing a movie and it's called Up the Score and wanted Orlando to be a part of the movie because he considers him to be um, a friend and extremely talented. And so Orlando's legal issues have been well documented over the years. And Matthew says Orlando had been living with him in Ohio since November during pre-production for the movie. TMZ were also told that no major issues happened until Thursday's incident. According to Matthew, he told the cops Orlando came at him with a broken knife blade and a hammer. Now, he believes that Orlando Brown is struggling with a mental illness. He thinks Orlando is at times out of touch with reality and he's bummed he wasn't able to help Orlando make a movie comeback. Orlando was supposed to have a secondary role in the movie, a dramedy about a military man who meets someone on social media and leaves his family for this person only to find out that they are not who they say they are. But that's no more. Matthew tells TMZ Orlando is no longer allowed to live at his house at this point in time and is currently removed from the film. What's more, Matthew hopes Orlando seeks mental health help and only then would he consider bringing him back on. With filming for the project beginning in January, TMZ is told it's likely not possible for Orlando to be involved. Now, these are my thoughts on this. I think it's very unfortunate. I think it's a sad situation for Orlando because um, you, we've seen Orlando over the past several years, you know, come back into the spotlight. We've always known him, you know, because he's a childhood star. He's very popular. For being in that so rave and that's what a lot of people know him from but if you are someone who grew up in the early uh, 90s or if you're late 80s uh, baby or whatever you know that orlando been featured in a lot of sitcoms and movies and stuff like major pain um re reoccurring roles on like family matters and so many other things he's made uh appearances in the jamie fox show things like that so he's always worked and been a childhood star all his life and for him to go through whatever he went through um, whether it be that time or during the time he was on that cell raven, we don't know exactly what he's been through, but all I know is, in my opinion, um, with these childhood stars, we never see what causes, we never see the cause or what it is, the damage that's being done, but we always end up seeing the effect, we always end up seeing the end result of what the cause has done to these people and unfortunately they just get slapped in the label as crazy mentally unstable and things like that and unfortunately when you get labeled and stuff like that that sticks to you um throughout your um the rest of your career throughout your life and whatever and so there's no difference with orlando brown in this case you know we seen him uh spiral out of control and we see that you know a lot of times he's um, in the spotlight and he's going viral but it's for all the wrong reasons in my opinion he's always making interviews and making appearances on these different podcasts and shows and I feel like instead of people trying to see where he is the condition of his mind seeing as he, if he's in a healthier state it almost comes off like they're trying to exploit him it always comes like they're trying to Explore him because they know that he's going to give you shock value. And that's usually what makes everything he does go viral. He says something that's very shocking and it goes viral. And it gives those people, whether they give them like, views, it gives them some type of boost, you know, and uh, promotion. And they are profiting off of this. But I don't know if he's getting anything or not. And now I'm not saying that they might not hand him some or give him or pay him for his interviews. I'm just saying that a lot of times 
it doesn't seem like his health, his mental state is being prioritized rather than just getting him to sit down on a couch or in a chair and give an interview and just let him freely speak and knowing that the man needs help. So this is unfortunate because we've seen him time and time um, come in and out uh, throughout the years in the spotlight. Uh, most of the times he was reckless and a lot of the times, you know, recently we had saw him trying to get himself together. Yeah, that part, that part, that part, that part, that part. My name is Orlando Brown. Hello, everybody. Um, you may know me from a little show back in the day called That's Right, That's So Raven. And, uh, you know, I, I went through a lot. You know, I experimented with crystal meth, uh, uh, with weed, and I didn't know what I was doing. I had an addiction to the Internet, all kinds of stuff, you know. But um, my fiancé told me about this place, and when I... When I came, it was amazing. Yo, I had I had a blast. These brothers accepted me for who I am. And um, yo, man, I, I mean I got a whole team of brothers now. The church is lovely, you know. Um, all I can tell y'all is all the leaders are brilliant, they're geniuses and they're men of God. Um, and, and they're raising us all up in, in, in the way to be the same. And to see something like this, him preparing for a movie role, him doing auditions, him trying to get back on the right track and stuff like this. And for only him to have what seems to be um, an episode or whatever or within, you know, a couple of weeks. Because let's be honest, or let's be real, January is right around the corner. So for him to be right around the corner from filming, obviously he was operating in a healthier state. And for him to only, you know basically relapse mentally and go back into having an episode stuff clearly he needs help and clearly you know as you've seen before that um he's tried to get help in the past so it's not like those situations where you're saying well we can't give him help if he don't need it clearly he's been trying to get help he's been trying to get the help that he needs but a lot of times you know sometimes it's easy for someone to take advantage of you and mishandle you and in a lot of ways it can be triggering especially if people who are inviting you on their platforms or having you sit down and do interviews and stuff and know that they can do things that are certain type of things that's going to trigger you and going to put you in a position where you can revert back to an unhealthy mind state but fortunately it doesn't seem like there was the situation with this case i mean another a number of things could have triggered Orlando in this situation. He could have stopped taking medication if he was allegedly, if he was taking medication or something else could have possibly uh, triggered him to make him, you know, go into an episode and uh, attack this man that was clearly trying to help him. So whatever the case may be, I hope that um, Orlando gets the help and gets back on track because it did seem like for a while he was trying to get back on track and you know you can't I mean you can't be somebody constantly when they're down and you can't blame a man for trying so he is trying I hope that Orlando gets the help that he obviously need and the help that he obviously wanted um but these are just my thoughts I want you guys to leave your thoughts down below let me know what you think about this whole situation with Orlando do you feel like something could have possibly triggered him do you feel like allegedly if he was taking medication that he had stopped and he had just reverted back into that paranoia state because obviously the man in the report said that Orlando was out of touch with reality and so he wasn't mentally there and so do you think that he has sat down too many times on people's couches and stuff and done exactly what was expected of him and that might have further you know what I'm saying added to it because let's be uh, realistic people don't have your best interests at heart they don't have the best intentions um always when it comes down to people who are very fragile uh, mentally so um just let me know what you guys think down below thank you so much for watching be sure to like share and subscribe here with us at back in time but until next time this is a good time get the stepping this is a good time Get the stepping. Step